Hi there, I'm Catherine Marie with Inspired Vitality. I have been working on a very special project for some time, and I want to give you a look inside of it today. This was born and created out of love for a family member, and I share it with you out of a passion to help others. If you follow me on social media, you might have guessed I'm talking about my 2024 monthly and weekly planner. If you don't follow me on social media, look for me on Facebook at Inspired Vitality of Minnesota, on Twitter at InspiredMN, and on LinkedIn, I'm Catherine Marie. So first, a little backstory. For about the last year and a half or so, I've slowly become more involved in the care of a loved one. She's been declining cognitively and struggling with her vision due to eye diseases. There have been many times when we have noted appointments on a typical wall calendar, but then she cannot read what is written. And I get multiple calls asking about appointments coming up, for example, and what day, what time, that sort of thing. I'm okay keeping track of appointments and updating her. After all, I'm the one that drives her to these appointments. However, this can leave my loved one feeling frustrated and dependent on me. Over time, I noticed it wasn't just the size of the text that was a challenge, but also contrast and distraction. She is better able to see things when there is high contrast of black ink on white paper. And of course, it needs to be bold and, and big. Some calendars have lines in their grids and pages with designs, and that can be very confusing. I took all of these challenges of my family member that whatever she was facing, and I decided to create a planner that would be helpful for her and anyone with low vision or cognitive impairment. Not only is it going to support her autonomy, but it can aid caregivers in coordinating appointments, medication refills, and different activities. Some features that I incorporated are, of course, the large print, high contrast, an easy to read font. I literally typed out different fonts and brought it to my family member and had her tell me what was best for her to be able to see. And I wanted things free from distraction of graphics or unnecessary lines. I wanted it to be coil bound so it would open and lay flat. There are two pages for each month and two pages for each week. There's lots of extra space to write details. And so I'm going to give you a peek inside of it. So let me show you. First of all, this is the cover. There you go. It turned out very nice. Now, just inside the front cover, some very important information can be added. Personal information, name, address, phone, and emergency contacts right inside the front cover. Then... So here is a visual of what the month looks like. Again, these are eight and a half by 11 pages. So this is going to be really big and easy to read. Okay. And now I will give you a look at the weekly pages. Now here at the end of January, um, January ends on a Wednesday this year. So we've got an extra page of notes that can be, anything can be added there. So that's some of the extra space that's there. Now I'm gonna show you how I am going to use this planner. So say for example, there is an appointment or something coming up on, let's say Thursday, May 2nd. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a star or some symbol in this monthly box. Then I'm going to use a paper clip and I'm gonna bookmark that weekly page. And I'm gonna use this big stuff to write all the details. So we can put a provider name, if it's a medical appointment and an address, that sort of thing. Or maybe it's an activity we can write, or maybe there's a medication that needs to be refilled. We can use these big spaces to write all of that information. And if there, another thing I wanted to tell you is that I did not put holidays on the grids. So I did include some of the major holidays in this planner, but I did not put them on the grids because I know 
that in order for the font to be large enough for it to read, it would have been distracting based on my experience. So I put holidays, let me see if I can find that page. So for example, Memorial Day. So I put that on the weekly page right there. So that's how I designed it. Now this planner is available at an online bookstore called Lulu Publishing. And the best way for you to find it is to go to my website, inspiredvitality.life slash planner and click on purchase here. And that is going to take you directly to the bookstore page that has my planner listed. So if you are a caregiver yourself, or if you work with the elderly, my 2024 monthly and weekly planner for low vision and clarity can be helpful tool for you and the individual. Please head to inspiredvitality.life slash planner and check it out. I'm always also going to put a link in the video description. Bye for now.